I've testified before textbook selection committees uh, on this issue, and it's very hard. Some of them are really quite honestly confused about the extent to which evolution through natural selection is a controversial matter among scientists. It isn't at all. I mean, it's taken for granted now the way the conservation of energy is taken for granted as, as one of the bases of our science. I remember once I was um, invited to go up to Baylor, um, which is from Austin where we are now. It's up the highway IH-35, 100 miles or so to the north. And I was driving up there. Uh, I was going up there to take part in a conference on just this subject, science and religion. And this is a part of the United States, uh, Texas, where a, religious feelings are very strong. And I was driving up to Waco through the um, Brazos Valley, through the farmlands, and I was just thinking about how all the farmers there were um, probably very devout and would be offended by some of the things I might have to say. And I was feeling a little chilled by the sense of being in an intellectual minority and um, thinking about how I was going to argue with people at, when I got to this <laughs> conference. And then I, I, I got tremendously encouraged. I turned on the radio and I heard the weather forecast. And um, they, the weather forecast was about whether, you know, they were talking about whether it was going to rain. And they were talking about cold fronts and a weather system working up over the Gulf of Mexico. and gradually moving in and high pressures and low pressures and so on. And it suddenly occurred to me, you know, this is a very biased weather report. It's biased in the direction of secular humanism mm -hmm. because these people are just ignoring the fact that all the farmers in the Brazos Valley are praying for rain. They aren't mentioning these prayers. They're just talking about cold fronts and uh, uh, barometric pressure. What's going on here? Is the Weather Bureau taken over by secular humanists? Where's the mention of the prayer? And then I realized th these are the weather forecasts that even these farmers want to hear because uh, despite all their, uh, what they say about the value of religion, they really need to know whether it's going <laughs> to rain.